Yes. Bud, come. You don't make me come in and get you. Judy Larson on, stands Dave. just a shade over five feet Why tall. Why didn't you come out? Her prize Clydesdale Big Bud is eight feet tall. Come. But there's no mistaking who's in charge. Ah, the thing that you have to have with a Clydesdale is a big mouth. And I have a big mouth. They're more scared of my mouth than they are of me because I am so short and so little. By the time he's done, that's why you can see I need a bath. Oh, how's Big Bud doing, huh? Let's soak those feet first. Judy and her family have been working with Clyde Sales for nearly four decades. Over. Get over. And for the last three decades, they've been putting on daily shows for the public at their farm outside Ripon. Now, this was a very, very difficult... And then it takes us four hours to set up, two hours to break down each and every day. That telephone usually rings about 30 calls an hour. Judy oh, says it's welcome. the knowledge that a crowd is coming that gets her out of bed each day. Oh, I can't have the place a mess, and I've got to get that horse washed, and I have to get the popcorn made, and I have to do all the rest of this stuff in order to have the show go on. She knows it sounds like a lot of work. Yes, it is, but we enjoy what we're doing. Fully retired, working 13 hours a day. Yay! <laughs> but she can't imagine doing anything else. Right now, we are the only people in the United States doing this. But if we sold out, I know what we'd do. We'd sit around go eat at restaurants every night and get fat. And welcome to Larson's Clydesdale Ranch. I'm Judy Larson. Judy was not born into this lifestyle. She was born in suburban luxury. Being in Park Ridge, Illinois, I had heated swimming pool, air conditioning since I was born, Cadillac car. But her husband, Cal, said he wanted a dairy farm, even though by trade he was a crane operator and Judy was a professional organist. So it was almost like Mom Pa Kittle. It was really wild when we first started out. Now I'd like to give you just a little bit of history of what goes into hitching six Clydesdales. After we sold out of the dairy farm, he said he'd like a couple Clydesdales. And I've never been up to a horse in my life. And I thought, okay, Clydesdales versus milking cows has got to be better. Six ton of horses. We started out with practically nothing, four kids, three Clydesdales and had to start over with nothing in our pocket but $5,000. All four of our children started driving Clydesdales at age seven. But we'd buy two horses, win with them, sell them. We'd buy an older wagon, my husband would rebuild it and we'd sell it for more money. We are the only family in the United States that all four of our children retired as national champion car drivers. When my children went to college and they left home, the empty nest syndrome, I went to the governor's clip. conference on and tourism and they talked me square. into opening up my place to motor coaches. Now this is Big Bud and Bud is an eight-year-old gelding. Judy and Cal run through the tour with a precision that comes with years of repetition. And you're going to pretend you're watching the national champion men's car class. Bob the Mighty Clydesdale, let's give him a big hand. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? This tour business makes me look like I'm the boss and I'm the owner. That's a bunch of baloney. My husband gets the horse ready. If it doesn't behave, he gets it back, get it ready, and gives it back to me. He's the brains behind the whole works. She may call Cal the brains, but Judy okay, is the face of the operation nice with a personality job. as big as her Clydesdale's. Just happen to have a blue ribbon here for Big Bud. Now, Bud, don't step on my toes. Hang on. They can see on my face that I, I have a good time. So when they leave me, instead of saying goodbye, they thank me for coming to my place. That's what I can't believe, is that when they thank me when they leave. <laughs>